Hello everybody, Elsevin here at the Sunroot Bamboo Inn. The Shakuhachi Roots Pilgrimage is set and ready to fly through Japan. This is a very special year because we're actually going to be expanding all the way up to Hokkaido this time. It's the longest and most comprehensive Shakuhachi Roots Pilgrimage ever. And with that, we have beautiful new shirts, like the one I'm wearing, which just came in, with the sunroot symbol, and all the prefectures we're gonna be visiting. And I wanted to give a big shout out to UDA Hoye Onsan for designing this beautiful uh, t-shirt uh, jersey for the Shakuhachi Roots Pilgrims. Thank you, arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you so much. And with that, I'm going to start off with uh, teaching the Shakuhachi Roots Pilgrimage Shakuhachi pieces, which I composed uh, that are expressing different parts of the Shakuhachi Roots Pilgrimage. And these are very, quite meditative pieces, very relatively basic. Um, so if you're familiar with playing Honkyoku, Koten Honkyoku, then the techniques in these pieces will be uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you're not familiar with the techniques of Honkyoku, then uh, I'll do my best to uh, explain to you. And if you need the lesson, just give me a uh, message and we can go through uh, the details of playing the piece. So the first uh, piece is called Kyo Mukaze, which <clears throat> is referring to Komuso. Ko, Kyo Mu is referring directly to Komuso monks, and uh, Kaze is the wind. So the uh, Kyo Mukaze means empty wind, which is a uh, direct uh, uh, reference to Komuso monks and my good... Uh, friend uh, Joan Ensan who's a, a uh, foreigner in Japan who study uh, is doing Komuso training. Anyways we meet him every year when we go to the Shakaju Roots pilgrimage and he inspired partly inspired this piece. So this is uh, Kyomukaze. So play it once through and then go through the details.
Dum Gazi. So, <clears throat> little details on, on playing of this piece. Um, so, of course, as a type of honkyoku, there is very free, there's no beat rhythm. It's just your pacing. Just keep it nice and slow. Um, the uh, main point is basically to be clear about the medi and uh, you know how you're pitching your your u, udai medi and then your tsu medi uh, nishi your uh, nishigonoha dai, ro dai medi so uh, the theory of uh, you know, honkyoku pitch equivalence is really important and later if you want to study this more detail with me we can go through that um so the another uh little point is uh the uh the kind of trills that are in it like one two three four like fifth line the re we start slow and then increase the speed And same with koro koro. And then uh, uh, the ad lib section, which is not not typical of honkyoku, on the last line. Uh, that uh, ad lib section, it's up to you. And uh, because I love improvisation, I stuck that in there. So you can play whatever you want. You can skip it if you want, and whatever you want to do, play whatever is in your consciousness. And then um, after that, when you're ready to jump out of the improvisation, you go back, you hit row die midi, then you go back to row. And then the repeat sign just means go back to the very beginning, play, and then you end on the double lines after the that long roll, row die, roll, Daimedi then. Oh yeah, yeah. That last uh, line, uh, third line, you want to hit that medi as a roll daimedi. So roll, roll daimedi, roll daimedi, then back to the roll. That's what I meant to. If you can only go medi, it's all good. So it's up to you. So that's the ma basic uh, uh, So. Uh, next piece in the series will be Sankaku Cho or Sankaku Shabe. So, the uh, uh, inquiry into the, the wedge or the triangle. See you tomorrow. <laughs>